Today, we're getting our pole walk on. Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? It's me, your boy, Malik. And I'm bringing you more love, more of that Pinnacle Studio goodness from PinnaclestudioPro.com. Today we're gonna to show you how to walk out of a tree, pole, wall, whatever you wanna use. It's a really simple effect. Let's jump off into the software and make it happen. Here we are in Pinnacle Studio 19 Ultimate. Let's talk about how to break down the scene. The way you record this is as so. Place your recording device on a tripod. Point it at what you want to shoot. The wall, the pole, the tree, whatever it might be. Press record. Let it record for about a minute, maybe less than that. Then, do not stop recording. Have your talent walk behind the pole, the tree, or the wall. Have them look like they're coming across the scene. And then out of the scene. All right? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. The top clip is a clip of just the scene with nothing going on. If I scrub across this clip, you will see that it is just the tree and nothing going on. All right. Now, if I make this uh, track invisible here where it's not seen, and I scrub it again, you'll see that the second clip, the one on the bottom, is the clip of the talent walking uh, behind the tree. So your top clip needs to be the scene by itself, and then the bottom clip needs to be the individual walking behind the pole, the wall, or the tree. Got it? Good. Let's make both of these tracks visible again. Now I'm going to click on jump forward so that I jump to the next split and my playhead is right where the clip of the individual walking behind begins. All right. Now let's make some magic happen. I'm going to right click on the top clip and I'm going to go to open effects editor. Gonna go to 2D, 3D. And I'm gonna go to 2D Editor Advanced. I'm gonna change it from default to no preset. And now I need to turn on keyframing. When I do that, if you had your playhead where it's supposed to be, it should create a keyframe right there. Now all of these keyframes are at the zero position, which is good because at the beginning, you just want that top clip to show. You don't want the bottom clip to show. And since there's nothing cropped, all that's showing right now is the top clip. But now I'm going to move forward one frame by clicking on the next frame button. I'm going to open up cropping. And then I'm going to crop out the right side because I want the left side to continue to cover where I'm walking from. And then the right side, I want to be visible when I walk through the other side of the tree. So I'm going to crop the right side until I get to that tree. Now you can see a little line here. We're going to try to fix that up with some color correction in a minute, but it's good that I can see the line right now because I want to know, I want to make sure that this line is on top of the tree. And that's pretty good there. Now I can still see a little bit of difference in color there. But the good thing is now I should have the individual walking and this is 
here he comes through the other side. Now I can tell that the clip on the bottom is a little bit darker than the clip on the top because I can see the change in the brightness from here to here. So I need to brighten up that bottom clip or darken the top one. I'm going to choose to brighten up the bottom clip, but this is all good now. So I'm going to click on OK. I'm going to right click on the bottom clip. I'm going to go to Open Effects Editor. I'm going to go to Color. And I'm going to go to image correction, CPU. And here, I'm just going to try to make this bottom clip a little bit brighter. So it matches the top clip. I'm going to click OK. Now I need to go back to the top clip so I can see both of the clips together at the same time. So I'm going to right click on the top clip and go back to open effects editor and now I can really tell that everything is about the same brightness here between these two scenes so it looks good so I'm gonna click on OK and I'll go ahead and play this back just to get a quick look at it And that's good, baby. Now, the one thing that I didn't like about this was the little shadow of the tree moved a little bit. And if I was actually doing this for some project or something, I'd do the shot over again. But since I'm doing it for you too, I'm going to leave it as it is. You get the gist. You now know how to walk from behind a tree, a pole, a wall, or whatever the heck you want to walk behind. All right, guys. You know the routine. If you like this content, click on the thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. Comments. Leave me your comments. You know I will always get back to you if you need help. If I can't help you, I'll point you in the right direction to get you the help that you need. And last, but definitely not least, if you don't want to miss any of this Pinnacle Studio goodness, this Pinnacle Studio love that I bring to you on a regular basis, you got to click on the subscribe button. If you don't subscribe, you'll be missing out on the content whenever I upload new videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.